Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually not going to be playing in makeup. Um, I'm feeling a little under the weather and I like to kind of stay out of my makeup when I feel that way. Um, however, there is a tag video that I really, really want to do. I really enjoy the questions from this tag video and I just thought it would be a great opportunity for you guys to get to know me a little bit more. And yeah, so I did see this tag when I was watching the Nerdy Girl Makeup channel. Um, she also mentioned that there was an original creator, so I'll have both those channels listed down below. So if for some reason you guys want to check out this tag um, and other videos, you can do that. I will also have the questions listed down below, so if you guys want to do the tag yourself, um, it'll make it a little bit easier for you. So uh, yeah, just low key maintenance. This is me, a little bit of lip balm on because my lips are kind of dry. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first question is, how long have you been on YouTube? Now, I've actually had my YouTube channel for quite some time, well, well before I started makeup. Um, I had posted like two videos, one of my son like doing a school wrap and another one when I did the announcement for our Disney trip. Um, but other than that, it was just to watch videos. It wasn't anything else. I have only been doing my makeup channel, I wanna say for two years. Actually, I uploaded my very first video March 21st, 2017. So I am coming up on my two year anniversary. Um, I'm not as far as I would have liked to have been, but at the same time, I just, I really, really enjoy what I'm doing and I'm not going to give up. Um, there have been people that have started their channels just a couple months ago and they have way, way more um, people than I do, but I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to grow at a different pace than everybody else. I'm gonna grow at a different pace than everybody else. I have accepted that. Um, I'm not a makeup artist by any means. I'm just a makeup enthusiast. And yeah, so that actually brings me to the second question. So the second question is, uh, what was your first YouTube video? What was your first YouTube video about? Okay, so my very first YouTube video, I'm looking at it right now, was the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. It was a review and swatches of this palette. Um, <laughs> this is it right here. I thought I'd bring it out. Um, so I did a review on this. Um, I knew going into YouTube that I was just learning how to, how to do makeup. Like seriously, just learning how to do makeup. Um, <laughs> I know I do not have the skills that half of these women do, they are talented, they have gone to school for this, and I did not. So when I sat down and thought about what kind of YouTube channel I wanted to be, I knew I wanted to go more of a review path, uh, more of a review path channel. Um, of course, if you've been with me for quite some time, you know that I have expanded uh, more than just reviews, which I am so proud of. But I started off as just reviews because I felt that that is what I'm good at. I wanted to give information. Um, being a working mom and kind of on a low budget, I wanted to make sure that, if for, especially for someone in positions like me that don't have a lot of money, just go buy this and buy that, that you're really going to get your money's worth. And I really wanted to put my opinion out there to try and help people that didn't want to just blow money on makeup, that really wanted good quality makeup and what is looking for an honest review. So that's what I decided to go with. All right, so um, who is your dream collab? So I would have to say my dream collab would be, oh gosh, far-fetched, extremely far-fetched, but I would say it would have to be ColourPop just because of the fact that they have such good quality at a really affordable price and that is something that I love about their brand. Um, the stuff that I have gotten from them, I absolutely love. I love the lipsticks, I love the eyeshadows, I love the brushes that I have. Um, so that definitely would be a dream come true. Number four, what would it mean to make it, I'm still holding the palette, <laughs> what would it mean to make it on YouTube? Um, for me, 
you know, obviously I want to be successful at, at this because this is something that I love and enjoy. To me, making it would be to hit 10,000 subscribers. Um, of course, you know, more would be exceptional, but that would be really just making it to me. That is a, a goal that I strive for and I'm really working hard towards. Um, so far away, but that, that to me is making it. Number five, what is your end goal on YouTube? You know, it's just sharing my passion. That is just something that is my beginning and my end goal. That is something I want to continue to do. I want to be true to myself and I just want to continue doing what I love. So there isn't really, I guess, an end game because if I enjoy it, then I'm going to continue doing it. <laughs> Number six, what is the hardest part about YouTube? Oh my gosh, there are actually a lot of hard parts about YouTube. First of all, the time and the dedication. I work full time. I have three kids that have all different kind of after, after school activities. We have dance and chorus and plays and just we are so, so busy. So really just finding the time to film my videos and edit my videos and still have family time uh, aside from all the craziness to be able to do things as a family. That's what's really hard for me when it comes to YouTube is the balance in my life. Obviously this is for me, um, especially right now, is just a hobby and something I love and enjoy. Um, another hard thing about YouTube is not paying attention to numbers. Um, you know, sometimes it, you can just get in your head. Well, I've been on here for X amount of time. Why am I not here? Or what's wrong with my channel? Or why aren't people enjoying my videos? Or getting as many comments? Or, you know, there's all of those why questions. Or it's just, you have to really focus and not get in your head. And I am so guilty of doing that from time to time. And I can just get really down, but then I have to kind of look in the mirror, be like, Cassie, you love this. Screw the numbers. Whoop, bleh. <laughs> Screw the numbers. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm still doing this because I love it, um, which I think I've said, what, seven, eight times already. If you haven't got the hint already. <laughs> but um, numbers can be really, really hard. So I would say those are two of the hardest things for me when it comes to YouTube. Number seven, what is the best part about YouTube? Okay, this one's gonna be a good one. I love this question because there are so many good things when it comes to YouTube. Number one, the connections that I have made on YouTube, like, hey, did you guys hear that? That was my cats fighting. <sighs> Sorry. Um, the connections that I have made on YouTube are just so amazing. I have made some really good friendships. Um, there are some girls that I get to talk to, not just through comments on videos, which is absolutely amazing. I love being able to share my passion with other people. Um, the people in my current life right now don't really understand, like, I guess the makeup world or the beauty community. Um, it goes so much deeper, you know, as far as like what's coming out, what is good, what works, here's tips, here's tricks. There's just so much into it. And I get to share that with you guys. And that is just so, ah, ah it, it just makes me so happy. Like that part just makes me so happy that I get to share a passion and a love with other people, people I've never even met. And that that's the best part about YouTube. My subscribers, you guys are just so good to me. Um, you know, you guys show me so much love and I really try and do some really nice giveaways for you guys as a way to show my appreciation. Um, I really just wanna say thank you like every single day because you guys, you know, aside from wanting to do this, you guys are a part of making me want to do this. You make me want to better myself. You make me want to make video, better videos and better quality. And just, it helps me push. 
And as far as my subscribers go, my subscribers are so supportive. You guys are so amazing. And y'all just make me feel so much love when it comes to doing my channel. And maybe I'm, you know, unsure about how a video is going to go. And then my subscribers will turn around and they'll leave the most the nicest comments ever and it just warms my heart so much so thank you guys so much for just supporting me and loving me and i i really really appreciate that this is not supposed to be an emotional tag but you know who i get really really emotional about my subscribers because you guys mean so much to me just saying okay pause time i'll be right back Whew. Okay, I am back. Those were not sad tears, just so you guys know. Those were like happy tears because I am so thankful. Like, <sighs> all right, let's just, let's move on. <laughs> all right, um, let's see. What is the funniest comment you have ever received? Um, I don't know if I've like received like a funny comment that has just made me laugh out loud. I know when I just did my video doing the uh, full face using subscription box makeup, you know, that video was made for fun and a good time and to have a laugh and just enjoying makeup. It wasn't nothing serious. And the people that got that, you know, made me chuckle. And Nicole, when she, <laughs> when she kind of chuckled along with me when I said the blush was clown makeup, you know, that made me smile. So that's awesome. Um, the meanest comment you have ever received. Well, I have to say I've almost been blessed because I haven't received just hateful, mean comments. I'm sure in the future, I'm probably going to get them. Um, that is someone, that is something I actually kind of have a fear of how I'm going to handle it, how I'm going to feel. I did have a comment recently on actually the full face using subscription box makeup that I didn't necessarily agree with. Um, I'm just going to put this out there. You should never tell somebody how you think they should do their makeup. Makeup is so personal and there is no right or wrong way to do makeup. Okay. It's not that serious. And I don't feel that that's anybody's place to, hey, you should do this, or hey, you should do that. I don't really think that's constructive criticism. Um, if you tell me, okay, well, the light seemed a little bit too bright. You know, why don't you try dimming it? I, because I couldn't see your face or something like that. That's like con constructive criticism. Or if I say, hey, I don't like where I put my contour. Can you guys suggest how I do it? Or, you know, what do you think? then you give me feedback. That's constructive criticism, not just leaving a comment saying, you know, you should do this or you should do that. So that would have to be so far the meanest comment, um, especially when the video was supposed to be lighthearted and a joke anyway. Just saying. All right, number 10. What other subject matter could you create a YouTube channel about? Nothing. <laughs> nothing um, you know I have my kids they are my heart and soul I love my husband um, my family is just my number one priority of course uh, work is kind of just work but makeup is my passion and I I hate that I discovered it so late but there is nothing else like this is what I am so into and I dived right into it and I love every bit of it. I've actually looked up um, on maybe going to beauty school at this point in time with the way schedules are and school schedules are and things like that. I'm not going to be able to. Um, I'm hoping maybe in the next three years and I know that sounds really far off but I kind of have to wait for my youngest son to get to middle school to even consider it. Um, but so many more reasons than that. Uh, what was the question again? I forgot. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, there's nothing else I want to do. If I did not do makeup on YouTube, I would not be on YouTube. Not, not filming anyways. Okay. Number 11. Why did you start your YouTube channel? Um, so... <sighs> 
this is kind of a lengthy answer. So a little bit of backstory. I was raised by my grandparents. My grandparents did not allow me to wear makeup. My grandmother certainly did not teach me how to do makeup. She didn't even teach me how to style my hair, okay? Um, they were very, very old school. So I didn't grow up wearing makeup and I got married a little over two years ago and the makeup artist I hired to do my wedding did my makeup so flawless, I fell in love and I was just, oh my gosh, I was so intrigued by wanting to learn, wanting to learn how to be able to do that on my own. So she was actually nice enough to give me like a free little 10, 15 minute session and, you know, kind of show me, I guess, makeup brushes and tools like that and kind of how to apply it in certain steps. Um, so I could get at least the basis of it. So once I did that, it was on like Donkey Kong. I was all over YouTube searching videos, um, you know, makeup tutorials, makeup releases. I was just like this whole new set of knowledge was just coming in. I was so excited. Um, and I knew right away by just watching all of these different videos, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to learn how to do makeup. I wanted to learn how to, you know, what makeup products were coming out, what's good, what's not good, what's worth your money, all these different things. And I wanted to be able to share that with other people that not only have the passion that I developed, but also had the same kind of like understanding of what makeup does. It releases like this creativity that I'm so excited to do. I just knew that this is going to be the best way for me to be able to share my passion. Um, you know, just, I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not able to go out into the public and, you know, do people's wedding makeup and all this other stuff. So for me, this is my outlet. I, this is where I'm able to share my passion and my creativity. And this is my me time. Um, you know, my, I have my life, I have my kids, I have all that with them. This is what I do for myself. This is what I enjoy. This is what I love. And I get to share it. How cool is that? I get to share it with all of you guys. <sighs> that is just, it's awesome. <sighs> what video are you embarrassed by um <laughs> i don't know um i mean of course everybody's beginning videos is not going to be like the greatest but i think not really the videos themselves but more so of the thumbnails okay i did not learn how to do thumbnails right away i didn't look up the videos i just kind of created and i have like half my body cut out it is it's bad like it's bad and then I finally realized I look a little weird maybe I should put my shoulders <laughs> my whole body in the thumbnail um, so thumbnails get me more embarrassed than my actual video so <laughs> don't look at the older thumbnails please <laughs> um, what video are you most proud of Gosh, there's actually a couple of them. Um, my most recent makeup looks from the my New Year's Eve glam, my easy Christmas makeup tutorial. Those are actually some of my my most proud moments because it shows my growth and what I have learned as far as applying makeup. And I'm so excited to be able to share that with you guys. I do have hooded lids, so it does make it more difficult. So any tips or tricks that I know or I have figured out that I get to share and help other people um, with their makeup, that just blows my mind and makes my day because uh, someone reached out to me that I actually helped them a little bit with a cut crease for their hooded eyes and I was just like over the moon excited like I got to help somebody that is so cool um, and then my new series my blast from the past Wednesdays I'm really really proud of those um, because it keeps me focused and grounded on using what I have and making sure that I show the love for my whole collection and not just all the new products. So those are the videos I'm definitely most proud of. 
And then the last question is, what is your first YouTube memory? <laughs> okay, so um, I guess my first YouTube memory is when I first started my channel. I think it was in my second video, either my second or my third video. I'm, I was filming with my phone, which I, I still am, um, but I had it instead of doing it sideways so you guys get a full frame, I had it long ways. So I had like these two black bars on each side of my face. And someone has suggested in a, in a very, 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 very nice way, hey, you know, I kind of, I like your video. Why don't you try turning the camera um, so I can get a full screen? And um, I tried it, it worked. And I said thank you to that person so much. And that just kind of, boosted my confidence a little bit more and wanted to really learn and dig deep into this journey that I'm on. And yeah, so that person was really, really helpful. It was a very positive experience, especially when just starting a YouTube channel. So that one, that one's actually kind of special to me. <sighs> Oof. So you guys, <laughs> I did not mean for this to be an emotional roller coaster, and my throat is on fire. All that talking, oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys also enjoyed getting to know me just a little bit more. And I will have a fresh new video for you guys on Mondays. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.